Somalia, my homeland. We are known for our elegant beaches, plus vegetation. Most of all, the drought of income, my neighbors, brothers, and friends. I'm a 13-year-old boy named Abdi from a very remote village in the southern tip of Somalia. Abdi, my name, means a servant to God. I only have my sister and my mom left. My older brother and father were killed when the drought first started. My uncle is now a Somalian pirate because that is the only way he can get money. I have not seen him since I was four. So since my dad is no longer around, I have to be the man of the shack. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, I live in a shack. I am very poor. If you are wondering if I go to school, well I don't because the nearest school is a two hour walk from my house, like everything else is. <clears throat> if, we would have lived, if we would have lived by a clinic, my brother may have survived. <clears throat> my village is on top of a hill and is too hard to reach without a four wheel drive machine. Oh, aren't they called cars? They don't come through our village a lot. The last time I saw a car was when the wealthiest kid in town, who had happened to be my brother's best friend, had him transported down the hill by a car. That, but that was three years ago. I remember the days where my brother and I would go behind the house and pass a soccer ball back and forth to each other. Soccer was my best sport, as well as my brother's. We were the best soccer players in our town. I also. I also remember going to the ocean with my dad once every year. We would have lunch on the beach and go swimming until our skin looked like dried up raisins. But that was all before the drought even started. We even had a house, not a shack to live in. Life was great back then, but this is now and that was then. Drought has taken lives of 750,000 people. Many of them have been my close friends, family members, and neighbors. I just can't stand having to go to a funeral every month for someone that's been killed by this awful drought. I heard from one of my neighbors that the village 20 miles from us was totally wiped out by was totally wiped out by the drought. That was over 1,500 people. Please help my people to survive this horrible drought that has that has been killing innocent people.